An unusual alignment of political parties is challenging the finance minister over the government's spending on COVID. They're annoyed the Labor Party has repeatedly blocked attempts for an independent inquiry into how much money was spent and exactly where it went. Political reporter Imogen Wells has the exclusive details. It's not often you see National, the Green Party, Te Pāti Māori and ACT teaming up. So when they do, it's a big deal. Politics, man. <laughs> for months now, the opposition parties have been calling for an inquiry into the government's COVID economic response. But there's yet to be buy-in from the man in charge of our books. Right now, when we're still dealing with uh, an Omicron outbreak, uh, that's not the appropriate time, but there certainly will be a time. If it's not the time for an inquiry now, then when will it ever be? You can't kick it out forever and ever and ever. Now News Hub can reveal members from all other political parties have written a letter directly to the Finance Minister, requesting either an independent inquiry or confirmation Labour MPs on the Finance and Expenditure Select Committee aren't being instructed to vote against their requests for one, because that's exactly what they've been doing. It's very strange to see Labour members of Parliament continually blocking that inquiry. And now there are questions over whether Grant Robertson's been pulling the strings in the background. In a written question to the Finance Minister, Chloe Swarbrick asked him if he'd had any discussions with Labour members on the committee about the calls for an inquiry. Grant Robertson's response, in terms of his ministerial responsibilities, he hadn't initiated any discussions. I think that it's been clear from the Minister's answer uh, that he does not believe that he's expressed views as a minister, but that very much leaves avenue open for him to have expressed those views as a Labour MP. As a member of the caucus, we discuss a lot of matters, but as Minister of Finance, I do not have responsibility for the members of the caucus. Not the clearest message from the country's finance guy, and this cross-party team says their demands will only get louder until an inquiry is set in stone. Imogen Wells, News Hub.